I do think it's very admirable for you to be one of the few, you, Ebony K. Williams, to be yep. in business. And I think outside of like Ebony K., I think she worked alongside Joe on the show that they did. State of I culture, think yeah. Charlemagne and Joe, they specifically said, I see something in her where I want to invest in her, where she's going to be a representation of who we are. Yeah. And that's where I think you are one of one. I, I, I was very heartbroken when their relationship soiled mm. because I felt like what them two could be doing in the culture could be so, so prominent. You know what I mean? Break it so down powerful. Because when Joe was here, I was telling him how I don't really like content with the two of them together. I, so what I, do you think? Like, I, break it down I, for me. I think they could be great, even if it's fucking where it's Batman and Joker, like to where they play the opposites like of each other. Got you. I, I absolutely love Charlemagne and Joe next to each other other than Joe and Ack. Mm. Um, you know, like right. I... I don't know. I think they're very powerful. They do things polarizing differently. Together. They're polarizing. Okay. Um, and even though they may operate differently, both of their methods are working. I think that's the one thing I really love about Brilliant Idiots is that Andrew Schultz and Charlemagne do not operate the same at all. They no. talk about how one is YouTube focused, one is audio focused, one is this focused, one is that. They're completely different in both of their business infrastructures, yet they are both massively successful massive. like i've enjoyed so much seeing andrew shoot up the charts like i was Incredible. literally at the webby's talking about it like andrew opened up for us at caroline's for wow. horrible decisions that nigga just sold out the fucking garden that's Crazy. fucking insanity so, salute like, to andrew man you know what it's I mean? been documented on this pod like that's that's my favorite podcast yeah mm -hmm. like he's, that's the podcast that kind of got me into this into space so he's he's, he's insane and so to me yeah like I hate that their relationship soiled and it soiled at the time that I signed to both of them. Yeah, you were I signed, right. I, I, announced, I announced we were joining Black Effect in September of 2020. We dropped the first episode or at least the launch of, see, the thing is, October 6, October. 2020. Yeah. Like literally the week before my birthday. So, and then ended up fucking catching COVID and had to navigate that. But yeah, like, so to be working with both of them, I, I really wish I could have found mentorship in both of them at mm -hmm. the time. And, it just got messy that I signed with both of them at that time. Signing with both of them, did it ever, did you ever feel like any tension with your dealings with them? Like, was it like- Very, in the, just in the early times when they yeah. were talking about each other publicly. Got you. And it was getting personal and- Got you. I, I was a little bit in the mix. I was like, Because they be like, yo, that's your man, right? Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. It, yeah, it, that's your man. It got a, it got, a, it got, a, it got a little, it got a little, a little yeah. hasty. But yeah. to me, I think they're both grown. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't, I wasn't involving myself in the middle. I have respect for both of them, mm -hmm. um, especially at that time. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to get in the middle of it at all. But I respect both of them and their paths of where they got where they got. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping when I'm as old as them fuckers, because they old as fuck, once I get their age, I should be real real. Because <laughs> they old as fuck. <laughs> them not. niggas got me by about 12, 15 <laughs> years. <laughs> niggas is old. <laughs> uh, and that's another thing. I be looking at my peers like, y'all niggas old, nigga. I'm, I'm 33. Y'all niggas 45. I got time. That's you know what I mean? <laughs> no, that's that's how I look at Savon. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. I'm kidding. He's only like two years old. Yeah. <laughs> so when, when speaking with like the Joe and the Charlemagne thing, right? Yeah. With Charlemagne, every time he talks about Black Effect, he gives a list of the pods on that network. Mm -hmm. Horrible decisions is always there. Yeah. Which tells me y'all are a pillar of that network. Well, yeah, because a lot of pods um, didn't rock out. I signed on a slate with a lot of big name pods. Mm -hmm. I won't say names. They chose to leave to networks that now no longer exist. Oh. And now they're trying to figure their shit out because now they're left with nothing. Like, mm -hmm. Black Effect has wh whatever that partnership deal is between Charlemagne and iHeart right. is working. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not mad at my... I, I don't know. I think he's hired on a great team. Shout out to Dolly. Shout out to Nicole. Shout out to Jawara. Shout out to everyone. Like, And that's another thing. He hired a... Strong team of black women. Oh, come on. Which, That's so, going to get you like, a win. Charlamagne mm -hmm. doesn't just talk about this shit. Like, yeah, he he got his his white Jew. Shout out to Chris Morrow. He got one on Chris a Morrow team. Chris Morrow from uh, Loudspeakers? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. And, and he's not a part of Black Effect, but they still work heavily uh, together. Got you. And so, but to me, Charlamagne does a really good effort in bringing other black win, women to the forefront and in positions of power. Mm -hmm. And I think it's great. I think that also they've, come up with some calculation that they got to be making money and being profitable in some yeah, sense for yeah. for iHeart. Every time I look up, iHeart 
is profitable with their podcast, mm-hmm. at least by 10, 12% like growth. So, I mean, it worked. I mean, one network is left and one's not. So someone knew what they were doing. You know what I mean? I'm curious with, uh, about what you've caught. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas. <laughs> Nah, now you throw alley oops, nigga. Put your basketball down. I, 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 oh, hey. I, just, I just asked. Nah, listen, I'm just gonna talk. I, listen, this is me where y'all are like, oh my god, Jesus, I'm really. I be shady. Shady's yeah. fun. Shady's fun like petty. Yeah, I, I don't mean it. I love everybody. I want success for everybody. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I think that horrible decisions has been great. Like we get anywhere from nine hundred thousand to a million views a month. Hmm. We drop four episodes, fifty minutes to an hour. That's it. Mm-hmm. And we're getting them. To, and those are audio only numbers. Like y'all can Damn. go look at our YouTube. Our YouTube, we got to be shadow banned. Our YouTube numbers, we may only see a hundred to 200,000 a month. Mm-hmm. Our views are with audio. And so where I align more with Charlemagne is that audio is still superior. Mm-hmm. That's where we make money. YouTube is paying pennies to the view. Talk now about. it takes a lot of money takes a lot to make money on I YouTube. Hate I hate that because YouTube is what people could see. Right. And I, yeah, I fight same, to like, same. I really want to post our audio numbers on my yeah. story. Like I want to leak it because <laughs> but, but no, one, no one knows what those look like. Literally our, know, audio numbers, them. our audio numbers no are popping. I really want to leak it one day and if they, if I do, I, at least I warned you guys. Like literally I want people <laughs> right, to see right. it because they, our YouTube they, does not represent. No, they, yeah, they no, don't know how to read. So like even when Weezy and Ak were going at it, like he went straight mm-hmm. to the YouTube to try to clown us and it was like, Nigga, we get a million a month. Calm yeah. down. Mm-hmm. Period. <laughs> um, but, you know, those audio numbers are different. And so I don't know what they're doing differently, but I love everything that Black Effect is doing. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm hoping to stay there with horrible decisions and is that, write it out. Is that what you pulled from Charlemagne? Because you told me what you pulled from Joe. Is it the appreciation for audio? Or if well, no, not, what well, is it? Well, yeah. one of the things that I learned from Charlemagne early on when I was burning out on all of this, mm. it was because I was like, how do you do all this? Antigua? He's, nope. Oh. He said my team. Mm. He said, Aww. I can't do it without a team. He's the person that pushed me to start building a strong team. Like, I love Temp, May, TJ. Like, I have a team now that from one project to the next, I'm going to bring them along. They follow Once them. I find fucking people that really work and really have an act for this and support me and my mm-hmm. vision and believe in me, I don't want to get rid of them. And so as much as he's grown with his team over the years, it's building a team. And that's what I, I, I took that from, Sh- from Sharla years ago. Yeah, not sure. being able to do that really does hold you back. That's why I brought up, like, if you're good at delegating, that's just as important as actually knowing how to do the actual work. Hell yeah. yeah. Shout out to May, too. I do want to shout out oh, to May. I love May. May, May, May. I love she, May. May, May, what she, May, she, May, May. May, May, May is, is like us. the Quentin Miller of podcasts. Yes. Oh, she's a ghostwriter for sure. She's penning a lot. She's penning a lot. You've been on a meeting with May, and you probably don't even remember. Oh, yeah, you were there. Yeah, we had a whole call. Like, she's a producer, podcast producer in LA. Like, she does a lot. She actually helped me get to HBO. She oh, kind of oh, navigated me on oh, HBO. Like, to man, she's really man. like the Quentin she's Miller worked, this and, shit. Well, now she's developing and doing Issa Rae Slate with radio. Oh, Ooh. Come on, oh yeah, she, wow. but no. she she is she is my Quentin Miller. Yeah. <laughs> I brought her on. She she helps she's me. Mine. She's she, mine. She she <laughs> helps me do period sis, and I brought her on <laughs> to fully do. Uh, see, the thing is, no, that's and, and literally we were just talking about too, like yeah. her appreciation for me. She sent me screenshots of her Excel sheet during the pandemic. When I first started, I think somehow, and I don't even know how I got away with this. When I started this idea, I was recording virtually. I was paying her $75 a month hmm. to just do like uploads, quick edits. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, maybe $20 an hour for certain things. All right. Maybe she don't get paid that no more for me. <laughs> and and, as, and as, as, as I build and as I grow, yeah. all mm-hmm. the way down to my makeup artist, as I get more money, I'm going to yeah. make sure the budget is there to pay you more. Right. And I've done that with so many people that have worked with me over the years that, yeah, she not getting paid $75 a month. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's long, Their value God. of inflation. <laughs> you know? No, well, no, up. value. That's like, I'm going to keep you yeah. and as you see, I'm making money and I'm going on trips and I got, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm iced yeah. out, bitch. L- let me help you get a little bit too. You know? 